everyone welcome back to my channel and back with another ninja video because this is all i seem to do these days i'm also really sorry because the sun's setting and the light will keep changing but i've got the blinds open just so there's enough light for me to film the video but anyway i wanted to preface this video by saying i love this beast i mean it's not perfect everything has pros and cons and for this the pros definitely outweigh the cons but I just thought it's good to let you know about the things I don't like about it just in case you're thinking of buying one because it's always good to weigh up the pros and cons so I have made some notes in my trusty notebook and the first thing I absolutely don't like about it is the colour. I mean I chose the colour red and I, re I went back and forth so much on this because it's not a colour I would have ordinarily picked and it was really hard for me to decide because I got a Black Friday deal on mine when I bought it and there was a black one but the red one came with more free accessories, they were both the same price and I was like should I buy it, should I not, <sighs> I went with the red and I just, I mean it's fine for now but like it sits out all the time like a microwave, it just doesn't look very pretty, I just like really plain simple neutral colors and red is just not a color that i have anywhere in my home but i have a red one um the free accessories i think that came with the red one was an apron i don't really wear an apron a silicon sling which is good if you eat meat because i think it's mainly like what you put a chicken on to lift it in and out of the pot and some tongs for the chicken i i haven't they're still in their plastic i haven't used any of those three things so i should have just gone with the black one but unfortunately i have the red one that's just obviously a personal choice the second thing that i don't like about this is that it comes with two lids as you know this is the ninja foodie max this lid isn't detachable now I know why it's not detachable because this is the lid you would use as your oven so baking roasting grilling air frying and so you wouldn't want to accidentally wash the grill can you even see mine's a bit dirty i've literally just used it for lunch but i wanted to film this video before it gets too dark but you wouldn't put this under the tap so that's why i understand why it's not detachable but it is a shame because I store mine in the corner there and when I lift the lid it wouldn't it would hit the worktop so I have to pull it out but that's fine that I have to pull it out because actually that leads me on to the next thing I don't like about it and I guess there's nothing that they could do to improve this either is I think you have to be like seven foot tall to be able to actually see inside the pot when you're cooking because if it's all the way there and I'm trying to stir I'm not tall enough to see inside the pot it needs to be as close to me as possible I'm vertically challenged I'm like quite short five foot three and a half the half is very important so yeah it is a struggle to see inside the pot but they couldn't really change it unless they made it bigger which would not be ideal so i can see why it is the shape that it is the other thing is that it is hard to keep clean the grill i've heard that if you unscrew it and wash it that voids your warranty i'm generally quite good i know it's a bit dirty today so don't mind that but normally i wipe it down after every use even if it doesn't look dirty you'll always feel a little bit of grease on it i also use a cleaning product from the brand method it's just their normal like antibacterial cleaner i use that one because it's non-toxic just because like you know my food's being cooked with this so i will clean it and leave it open for an hour or two just to kind of let any smell sense or whatever sort of dissipate and then i will use it as normal and when it is super dirty i get a couple of fresh lemons and what i do is i squeeze the juice from the lemon into the pot put some water in use this pressure cooker lid this is the wrong way and I shut it like so put it on saute mode on high just till it starts bubbling and then once it's all bub like bubbling and you can kind of hear it splashing around I take the lid off and I shut this to let the steam from the lemon water kind of clean that and then I just go over it with like a clean damp cloth just to scrub it clean but it is hard to clean the grill because sometimes I've put stuff on the top rack and if it's got cheese on it like a stuffed pepper or something it will stick to the grill and it is difficult to clean but I mean so the traditional ovens right they're a nightmare to clean <laughs> now one thing that I don't like about the ninja that I don't actually see as a problem because I didn't know that it was a thing as soon as ninja released this i think instant pot came out with their own version so it's like a nine in one does all that this does 
but it goes one step further. They have a delay timer, which I think is genius. It doesn't really affect my life. I mean, yes, it would be nice to have, but if you're going out to work, what you could do is in the morning before you leave, put all your ingredients in. Say you want to like slow cook it for four hours, you like get it all ready in the morning and then you just put the delay switch on I guess say for 3 p.m. and say by the time you come home from work dinner's ready at 7 there is no delay switch with this so that would be a nice additional feature but I just feel like that's something that Ninja will now improve on because Instant Pot essentially copied them so then they'll copy that feature with their newer model of this so that doesn't really affect me like I said the other thing that I don't like actually is with the Instant Pot I know somebody that has one and when you're making rice, for example, it's all trial and error. You just have to experiment and find the right functions or cooking times, measurements for yourself. Because I know that rice is like notoriously difficult and everybody and everyone has their own way of making it. But with the Instant Pot, I think you just press rice and it just cooks it. I don't know if that's good or bad. I don't know if it always comes out perfectly and I don't know how it works for people that like their rice cooked in a different way. But with this, you just have to kind of figure it out yourself. And so I actually have some friends and family that are always asking me about this, trying to figure out whether they want one or not. And for some people, I always just say, I don't think it's for everyone. Because I just think that if you're the sort of person that's very experimental in the kitchen and you don't like preheat the oven or you don't follow a recipe like to the T, you just chuck things in and hope for the best, this is amazing. If you want to follow recipes, you're going to struggle, I think, because there are no recipes for this. This is, leads me on to my next point. I've heard and I've seen that the Ninja recipes are non-existent and absolutely crap. They've got their measurements all wrong. They'll write tablespoon instead of teaspoon, so you might have to put in three tablespoons of salt, which is not something that anybody should ever do when making mac and cheese, for example. They've put the wrong ingredients in. There are no such things as recipes for the Ninja, unless you look on YouTube or on like people's personal blogs, like, you know, myself or other people. And so you do just kind of have to wing it. So if you're not that person, you may struggle with it. The other thing is, these lids melt so easily. I've heard, because they're really hard to store, right? You get so many accessories, they don't all fit inside the pot. You use it all the time. My kitchen is just constantly a mess at the moment. I need to find a cupboard for all these bits. So if I take this off, I've done this before, I'll take it off and I put it straight on my cooker. And say I've just boiled some pasta. The cooker's still hot. I've actually melted this. Now luckily I've melted the bit that's just the cosmetic outer part. The seal is still fine. So I have pressure cooked since then and it's fine. But a lot of people store these in their oven and then other family members or they will forget they store plastic stuff in the oven, turn it on to preheat and this will melt. I've seen some like shocking photos of these. So that's really annoying. I think this plastic is also quite cheap because it just happens to so many people. I was devastated when I melted this, but I'm so glad that I don't have to buy a replacement because, I mean, they're not that cheap, like 25 quid. So, you know, that's not really something that you want to do. The other thing that really annoys me are these racks. They should be a crisscross because when you're trying to grill stuff that's really small, it just falls through. And I line it with one of these. I'll link my video for my hacks up here that you can go and watch. So this is fine. But it's still a faff, it's still two things I need to wash. So it would have been great if they just made them like this because the air can still circulate. It just means that it's just a smaller surface area. But yeah, those are the nine things I hate about my Ninja. I hope you found this helpful in some way. If you did then please give this video a big thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon with a new video. Bye.